morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Tyler, the Chief Executive of Merlin Finance. Uh, Merlin Finance is an investor education platform. Uh, there's an app, it's available on iOS and Android. All right, so with that out of the way, cool. What are we gonna talk about today? Today we're gonna talk about how to allocate uh, your money in a small dollar account. So if you have $500 in um, an investment account and you don't know what to do with it, well, here's some ideas. I have a client who has given me $500 that they wish to uh, for me to invest for them. And so that is exactly what I've done. Um, I have currently purchased one, two, three, four um, different stocks. So let's go through them. What did I buy and why did I buy it? So the first thing that I bought was Google. Um, I bought Class A shares at um, $108.95. So I felt like that was a really good price. If you look at the chart over um, the past uh, 971 days or about three years um, since 2019, like I feel like this level is actually really good to be right here like this 109, 108, basically anything below 120. Um, this is considered like sort of a level of support uh, because you see a lot of activity surrounding it. But also this was the level right before it started to jump off on the run that was 2021. Um, so as you can see, the stock price is 109.03. Uh, Google is actually split into class A and class B shares. So 109.03, Goog is 109.91. So you know your boy just bought the cheaper one because it is literally the same thing. Um, so that was really good. I wanted to give the client a at least one stock that wasn't like an ETF, but like one like high quality stock that I know um, is a good buy and hold for the longer term. So that was the first thing that I bought. The second thing that I bought, I had to figure out, okay, well now that I have Google, like what else do I want? Well, I thought about what was going on currently in the world in the, um, you know, housing market, I was like, cool, I'm cool shorting the housing market. So we all know that the housing market's gonna go down. We all know that we are going to experience a recession. So one way to play the housing market going down is to play DRV. Um, I actually made a video on DRV, so check it out, it's on the YouTube channel. Um, it just talks about, you know, what is DRV, why do, why do DRV, blah, 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 but basically how do you make money off of um, shorting the housing market. How do you make money off of a housing market crash? You use DRV. So I bought one of those. I felt like this was an all right price. I mean, it, it has been lower before. Granted, that's totally cool or whatever, but it's also been a lot higher before, like $800. So worst case scenario, you know, I, I turned that $51 into $800 or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah I just, I'm just gonna like wait it out and see, but I definitely think that it's, it's a good idea to be shorting the housing market, which is why I have elected to purchase this particular ETF. So it's a, uh, a leverage trade, so it's three times the opposite of whatever the housing market does. So the housing market goes up, then this will go down, but three times that. Housing market goes down, cool, well this is gonna go up and three times that. So I feel like this is a really good trade, that's why I took it. Um, yeah, so I have the client exposure to a high tech growth name that's going to be around for a while. Um, the housing market, shorting the housing market in particular. I really love SoxL. Um, SoxL is a, once again, a leverage trade on the semiconductor industry, which I feel like is highly over, um, undervalued right now. Um, the semiconductor industry has been slammed right now. And so these prices are like dirt cheap. Like I, I don't think I've ever even been able to purchase Soxel at you know fourteen dollars ever since since I've been like really wanting to do it. Um, I think that there, so like twenty twenty the first time I bought it was I don't know I don't remember getting this good of a price like I could not pass this one up so yeah Soxel at fourteen you just I feel like you just gotta take it dude you just gotta take it because you know you're peaking out at eighty five. You're getting 14, like people are saying that, you know, uh, recession's here. I think that the recession's already here. But when we pull out of that, we're gonna need chips when we expand for the, for the uh, economic expansion that always follows an economic collapse because that's just how we decided that we're gonna run things in capitalism. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's really stupid, but hey, ride the wave. 
So, um, yeah, this could probably go down a little bit more, but to be honest with you, like, I'll just be averaging down. Like, this is high conviction for me. Um, I bought 10 of them for the client because I really believe that this is a good trade. Like, you, you can't get a better price than this right now for what you get. Um, so the other thing that I wanted to provide exposure to the client to was the financial sector. Um, the financial sector, like semiconductors, has been under fire um, lately. I don't think that it's overblown. I, I definitely think so. Stock sell if it does go down, like I don't think that it's going to go down like a whole lot. Um, I think FAS honestly does help further to fall. Um, and if that happens, I'll probably average down maybe once. Like if I had a thousand dollars in this account, I'd probably average down on FAS uh, one more time, but I really wouldn't go any more than that. Um, just because I think that the price point for Soxel is so good um, and Soxel is going to do better than, than the financial sector. Like I don't mind having this for diversification sake, um, but I definitely believe in Soxel a lot more than I believe in FAS. But in order to diversify and get different sectors for this client's portfolio, I feel like the prudent thing to do is accept the diversification rather than trying to squeeze like a little bit more profit because the more diversification you have, the safer the portfolio is. Um, the next thing and the last thing that I feel like this, this account needs is um, playing rising interest rates. So I want to be short um, treasury notes, um, government bonds, because as interest rates are jacked up and yields go up, then this goes up. And the Federal Reserve has already told you that it's gonna go up. And that's why this is going up it's really that easy like the fed says hey interest rates are going up you get ttt because guess what it's going up and guess what it has been going up since they decided to do that it's really that simple like they told you where it's going to go so why wouldn't you buy it so that's why i bought um, i'm going to buy it um really not sure about the price like so if i check merlin um, I checked it earlier. I think it's supposed to go up tomorrow. Yeah, so TTT is supposed to go up tomorrow. 56% um, chance. So what I would want to do is I would honestly try and see if I can, if I could get it at a level right here um, around this 56 because like it, it, it could keep running on me so this is when money management gets really tricky because this is when i have to like sit in front of the computer and watch the candlesticks to try and get the right price but um th yeah this is good this is on the to-do list for tomorrow so i feel like if i buy two shares of ttt at a good price that'll be about 115 dollars. so i'll have 14 dollars left and maybe i can get a good bid on the sock sell so that um i can just add more to that position because like i said that's high conviction for me and that one is just it's just at such a juicy price dude like look at this thing like this is this is, this is oops like this is really sexy like as a trader this is sexy look 14.75 but look at the high Look at that high, 72. Are you kidding me? That's like 6X. That's like 6X, like I could 6X on this. So like 147, 150 round two times six. Like that's a lot of money off that position, dude. Like that's really good. So I feel like that's um, that's the right play on that one. Um, yeah, so as more money comes into this account, I'll have to figure out if I want to reinforce these positions by averaging down or if I want to look for um, further levels of diversity, um, or if I want to play something that like is really short term. I don't, I don't really know yet, but I'll cross that bridge um, once the money gets here because I can't really make any decisions about what to do with the money until the money's in my hands. And once the money's in my hot little hand, then it's my responsibility to make sure that it goes to the right place, okay? So yes, if you're trying to figure out what to do, um, if you're just starting or you have a small pot of cash, I'm not telling you that this is what you should do, but I'm telling you like, this is my job and this is what I'm personally doing because I believe that this is the right play. Okay, cool. So good luck to you. Check out the app. I would really appreciate it. Every dollar helps. Every, every download helps. Every subscription helps. All right. Have a good night.